And it doesn't need to be that way. Like your wife is not your opponent. I don't want you to think that way. But when you get into this level of relationship, right, with your marriage, most guys don't think about these things. They don't think about the dynamics and the skills that it takes that I'm giving you in these conversations. And so the fact of the matter is, well, I teach you all this stuff and most guys are just going to watch this video and go on to the next and not even do any of the work. And that's the hilarious thing. They want things to change, but they won't put in the work. Like, oh, you're telling me I have to go through this five-step process to learn how to communicate, to change my marriage? Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Like, that's what you got to do. Are, are you going to do it? And no, because you've never put that much attention or intention into your marriage and into your family. So how can you expect it to get better? I'm giving you the skills, but will you do it? A lot of guys won't. And it's not easy, guys, because when you do this work, you're probably going to bruise your ego a little bit. You're going to find some things out about you that you don't like. You might even assume that you and your wife value the same thing. And the fact of the matter is you don't. And you're going to get very clear on that. But the better you get at this, you're going to be able to start predicting things before they happen. You're getting proactive. You're not going to get caught off guard by things that they bring up. And that is going to start with your empathy for them, your ability to understand them at their core better, understanding their point of view. Okay. And don't be afraid to change your point of view. You know, I've changed my point of view many times and I am not afraid to admit it. And I think that's a key to being flexible, being malleable and on your own point of view. And it's going to show them that you actually took the time to understand them. You took the time to feel like what it's like to be them. And that's what a lot of them want to see. They want to be validated. They want to be heard. They want to be empathized. They want to be seen. And I'm going to leave you with a quote, quote by Kim uh, Krizan, which is when we communicate with one another and we feel that we've connected, and we think we're understood, I think we have a feeling of an almost spiritual communion. And that feeling might be transient, but I think it's what we live for. Boom.